Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Eric Brown with Daily Manor for your soul. Happy Saturday to you. I pray the Lord is blessing you real good right now. Look, just want to bring you a word of encouragement, just something to help you along your way. And today that word is let Jesus blow your mind. Oh, can I tell you today, Jesus wants to blow your mind. Jesus wants to be the Lord that is your shepherd and you shall not want. Jesus wants to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can think or ask. Jesus wants you to be the head and not the tell Jesus wants to blow your mind. Or oh, can I tell you, I'm reminded of Jesus over there in Luke chapter 5. In Luke chapter 5, Jesus has run across Peter. Oh, Peter is there and he is cleaning his nets and he has come in from a hard night of fishing and he has caught nothing. Oh, Peter is sitting there another day that has been wasted, another day where he didn't earn any money. Oh, I know he is broke, busted, and disgusted. Oh, but Jesus gets in his boat. Jesus Jesus ministers out of his boat, actually, for, for a while. But after Jesus is done ministering out of the boat, Jesus turns to Peter and said, Peter, come on, man. Let's push off a little ways and go out into the deep. And Peter looked at him and said, for what? Said, Jesus said, we're going to catch some fish. And, and and Peter looked at Jesus and said, look, man, you're a carpenter. You don't know nothing about this. Look up. The sun is high overhead. The fish aren't biting. I am an experienced fisherman. I've been out all night long. I haven't caught anything. There's nothing here to be caught. I'm going to clean my nets and wrap it up and call it a day. But Jesus said, let's go out. And Peter said to Jesus that because you said so, I will. And Peter and Peter went out with Jesus and he cast his nets on the other side of the boat. And when he did, oh, just like the master said, there was a great haul of fish. Can I tell you, Jesus just blew Peter's mind. Peter couldn't understand how this could happen. Peter could not have ever foreseen this, but Jesus, Jesus knew it. Jesus spoke it and it came to pass. Oh, I'm here to tell you, I know Peter was excited until he looked at Jesus and he began to think that Jesus was going about calling disciples. Jesus was going about um, calling people into the ministry with him. And it, it, I know he had to think, could this be what he's here for? And Peter dropped to his knees. And when Peter dropped to his knees, he, he began to tell Jesus, get away from me. I'm not worthy of you. I'm not worthy of your time. But I'm here to tell you, Jesus was all about blowing Peter's mind. He had already blew Peter's mind with this great haul of fish, but Jesus wasn't done because Jesus wanted to be in relationship with Peter. Jesus wanted to call Peter to be one of his disciples, to be one of his future apostles. Jesus wanted to call Peter all to encourage increase his vision. He told Peter that no longer would you be a fisher of just fish, but you'll become a fisher of men. Jesus knew all about Peter. He knew all the things he had done and he knew all the things that he would do. He knew how much time in prayer that he was going to have to spend with Peter. He knew how many times he was going to have to rebuke Peter. He knew how many times he was going to have to save Peter, but that was okay because it was worth it to Jesus because Jesus said, Peter, I'm going to show you that I'm going to stick with you closer than a brother. P Peter, I'm going to show you that I'm going to be not only your master, but I'll be your friend. Peter, I'm going to show you that I want to be your savior. Peter, I want to blow your mind. Or oh, can I tell you today that by the time Jesus got done with Peter, by the time he had got teaching and training and blessing him and rebuking him, oh, and lifting him up, huh? by the time Jesus got done with Peter, huh? oh, I know it had to blow Peter's mind from where he came from in Galilee as rough as he was, as tough as he was, as irresponsible as he was, as brash and as arrogant as he was. Uh, I know it had to blow his mind that, that, that through Jesus Christ, uh, Peter became a water walking, tongue talking, uh, fire baptized, Holy Ghost filled uh, preacher and apostle for the Lord. Uh, somebody need to get that. Uh, Jesus wanted to blow his mind uh, and he sure enough blew his mind uh, because Jesus was willing to be in relationship with him. Jesus was willing to bring Peter to a different place, uh, take him to a different level. Peter couldn't hardly believe it, but that's just what happened. I want somebody to get that today. Uh, and I want you to know that Jesus wants to blow your mind. Uh, Jesus wants to blow your mind with things that maybe that, that that you only hope for, things that you prayed for, but you didn't know how they would come to pass. Maybe 
Maybe it's the healing from some infirmity or some some disease. Maybe it's the job you need. Maybe maybe it's the ministries that you want. Maybe it's the walk greater in the in the anointing that God has given you. Maybe it's a greater purpose. Maybe He has given you a vision that He wants to not only see come to pass, but to increase in your life. And you know that there's a call of God on your life. You know that God is real. Oh, but can I tell you, Jesus wants to blow your mind back. He wants to He wants to do for you huh? that thing that you can't do for yourself, those things that you can't see how they would happen. Huh? Jesus wants to blow your mind despite your skill level, despite your education, despite your background, despite where you come from, despite who you are, what you were, huh? and even what you are now. Jesus wants to blow your mind. If you let him, he will. Look, you have an awesome day and be blessed of the Lord. Peace.